she comes in colors You can tell her from the clothes she wears When I was invisible I needed no light You saw right through me, you said Was I out of sight? are an American rock band from L.A. and have existed since 1965 and are still going. They've had a couple of breaks. Uh, one of them, at least, was quite extensive. Most of the time, they've been led by Arthur Lee. They've had a lot of member changes, especially in the early years. And I believe they have uh, released six, uh, nah, seven to eight, let's get this right, studio albums, roughly. Hi, my name is Dan. So this was the second album by Love, and it's my first encounter with them. Um, I have heard of them, uh, was very vaguely aware of them, but I don't think I've ever listened to, certainly never listened to one of their albums before. Um, I do think that I know one of the tracks on this album, which is that uh, she comes in colours, uh, but I maybe I'm getting confused with the, um, the uh, Rolling Stones song that has a similar phrase in it. Um, right, let's do some descriptions. So there are two sides to this album. Side one is songs. Uh, they vary from a lighter, hippy, psychedelic feel uh, of Orange Skies to the heavier tracks, uh, Stephanie Knows Who and Seven and Seven, which is, I, I kind of listen to it, I, it feels like it, you could describe it as proto-punk. Uh, it's about 10 years early for punk. Um, but the, the drumming certainly has got that feel and just the general kind of anarchic approach to the music. Um, the second side is one rambling improvisation track, mostly on one chord. Uh, now, apparently this was something that they did live. Uh, this version is edited from uh, a longer jam that they had, um, and it has its bookended by harpsichord uh, sections. Um, and... Um, so the, yeah, they they put that on the second half of the album. So there are there seem to be differing um, explanations for why they've got a long song uh, on here on the album. Uh, firstly, uh, that they might have been short of studio time. Uh, secondly, they might have been uh, doing it as a protest against their label. They were in dispute with their label at the time of this album. They wanted to get out of their contract, and they weren't being let out. Um, and thirdly, it was just something that was done. That I mean, certainly in concert, people were doing these long improvisational jams, um, and uh, yeah, I, they were finding their ways onto records as well. So, but apparently, some of the band hated this track in retrospect. I have to say, I quite like it. It's rough around the edges. It's fairly simple. I, I wouldn't say it's showing a huge kind of skill of improvisation, but it's it's a reasonably nice groove and it just kind of passes the time and it's, it's all right. But but I do like quite a long improvisational groove by a track um, um, thing. Yeah, so uh, as an album, overall, it, it's okay. Um, it, you know, I certainly didn't object to it. In fact, I mildly enjoyed it. It reminds me at times probably especially the, the long improvisation bit of The Doors, uh, but less kind of, oh, I don't know, when I say less sophisticated, less dark, more energetic at times, more kind of proto-punk, um, and more happy at times, maybe. Um, but, you know, I'm, so, you know, if I had a choice to listen to The Doors and listen to this, I think I'd probably pick The Doors. But um, I'm glad to have encountered it. I've not become a fan, but now I feel like I've come across love. I'm looking forward to the fact that the next album, which was supposed to be their best album, is somewhere up on this list. So I'm going to come across that at some point. Um, so, yeah, it's all right. Reasonably good. Uh, that's what I think. I'd love to know what you think. So please do tell me by leaving a comment in the comments box down there. And that's it for me for now. When I was a boy, I thought of back down I'd be a man. I'd sit inside a bottle and pretend that I was in a man.